Hey, I'm Adrian Grenier, co-founder of Lonely Whale, and this is Action Planet. I'm not a scientist, but my lay understanding of the science is that the situation is growing more and more urgent. When you take action, your life gets a meaning. When you get a meaning in life, you become happy. When people connect, they care. When you're feeling well and doing well, you have no choice but to be well to the planet. We are up to the task of managing this crisis. And it's a mountain we can climb if we climb it together. If we don't do what science demands, we pass a tipping point, and it's out of our control. Many people may assume that we're an ocean conservation organization, but in fact, what we are is an organization designed to connect human beings. We've built these kinds of networks of like-minded people, and one program that we, we built in particular is Ocean Heroes Boot Camp, where we bring 300 plus kids from around the world, over 25 countries, all coming together to learn the tools of how to bring ocean values back to their communities and spread the message. So the most important part of that program is the kids when they come together and the networks they create and the friendships they and the bonds they, they, they solidify is so invaluable and it's such a beautiful thing to watch because if you can't connect, you can't care. But if you care, you can cure. Oh, the significance of that whale. There's this one whale out there. He's a real whale. This whale is very unique, he's special. He sings at a different frequency than all other whales. Whales typically will sing between 15 and 20 hertz, but this whale, sings at 52 hertz, which is, it's like speaking a totally foreign language to all other whales of his kind. They're one of a few species that have spindle cells that are associated with consciousness, humans being one of them. So they're highly sentient, conscious perhaps, or at least semi-conscious, highly social, just like humans. And there's this one whale out there calling out constantly, seeking connection without ever once receiving a response. Now, what happens when you hear that story? What is the same thing that happened to me? I imagine my heart opened and I was like, oh, this, this whale, I wanna, I feel for it. And this whale, while he has a hard time communicating with his own kind, he can speak directly to the human heart. So we, we were inspired by that and we've made it our life's mission to spread the wisdom of the lonely whale through our organization, which is really that of connection. How can we, understand the plight of whales or other species that don't speak our language and if we can understand that then we can begin to give our support in the in the appropriate ways what next wave plastics is is a consortium of 15 plus companies that have a global footprint who've all come together and have made a pledge to source and purchase ocean-bound plastic so they've all agreed to, committed to doing personal business audits so they can find use cases for ocean-bound plastic, have agreed to purchase a certain amount of this, and we've essentially created a supply chain for ocean-bound plastic. And so we're basically taking plastic and putting it back into the economy by giving it value and agreeing to buy it so that we can actually create an industry around collection and then the sourcing of this, this plastic that would otherwise get wasted. Check out nextwaveplastics.org. And this is basically building that infrastructure that will make businesses have an easier time doing the right thing. I have changed so much over the years. When I was a young tot, <laughs> I think I was pretty much all rage and no solution. I was just pissed off and mad and passionate and emotional, but ultimately ineffective. And then I went through a period where I was totally, utterly apathetic and nihilistic because I had to protect myself because it hurt too much to see the things out there that were suffering. And then when I was checked out and I had to retreat, I was ineffective. So balancing between that and recognizing that it's not all about me and my vision for the future. It's about how we work together. I, you know, a lot of people have want, wanted me to give a list of to do's, what you can do. And I, you know, I could do that, you know, stop sucking, you know, stop using single use plastic straws as a start. 
I really believe that it's 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 a choice. It's a holistic choice to just participate. Slow fashion is basically an intentional and holistic approach to the fashion industry. Essentially, a different way of creating fashion products and changing our relationship to supply chains and materials and the way they're constructed so that they're more sustainable and more eco-friendly. Everybody wants things quick, but there's, there's a detriment in that kind of efficiency. There's a, a thoughtlessness. And it's, it's also about using technology to reduce the bloat. So instead of having a lot of overstock or creating a lot of stuff that ultimately goes into a landfill and people don't actually want or use, creating really quality products that people will keep for a long time and potentially pass down to their children. My pet peeve, where do I begin? Plastic water bottles on podiums. So when people have a platform, when they have a stage and they have a plastic water bottle next to them and it's just sitting there being like advertising, like I am a water bottle and well, I'm okay, go for it. It normalizes plastic as a vessel and it sends the wrong message and it's got to stop. What would I say to a climate denier? I would say to a climate denier, hi, I hear you, I understand you. I would love to explore uh, what's important to you, what your perspective is on the world. Climate deniers, thank you for being present, for giving your perspective. Now let's find the synthesis between what your worldview is, what our worldview is, so that we can come to a, a a consensus that we can operate through. We all want the same things. If we stop trying to be right all the time, we might actually learn something. Take a breath and deepen your capacity to feel. Feelings are, are basically a culmination of all of our sense organs working in concert to help guide us. So if we can deepen our ability to be discerning and make choices, then we can start to operate in the world more effectively. I really like this question. <laughs> I'd say that what it is, is, the Voldemort within us. Look at me. It's that voice of Voldemort in our heads that tell us that we can own and exploit nature, the plants and the animals, that we have dominion over, over nature, that we reign supreme. It's this power hungriness, right? I'm extremely hopeful for the planet. I see a big global awakening. We are on that evolutionary path. Things will heal, they always do. Nature proves it over time. We just sometimes have to get out of our own way. Show up, wake up, show up, clean up.